Hi, this is Sanket Fan from Antk MDM Technical Support Team. Today we are going to see uh, how to perform bulk data import from IDD. This functionality is available in MDM 9.5.1 Hotfix 1. So the agenda is uh, what is bulk data import, why it is required, what is the prerequisite to configure bulk data import from IDD. We will have a small demo to see how it works and what are the key points in this particular session. So what is bulk data import? Generally when we try to import uh, or uh, bring millions of record in MDM hub then we populate the landing table and then we run the state job and then the load job to bring up the records. So if we try to bring uh, millions of record which are uh, residing in the excel sheet or uh, the CSV files then uh, uh, then currently we have to extract it using the ETL process and populate our landing table and then then the jobs to populate the base objects. So with this, uh, with the help of this new provision, uh, bulk data import, we can create or update multiple parent, child or grandchild records in a single bulk operation. Import can be done from the .cnv or .xlsx files. So why it is required? Uh, so. Uh, if we follow the uh, normal procedure to bring up the millions of record in MDM hub then it will take a long uh, like a huge amount of time to run the jobs and uh, also to configure we have to configure many things uh, using this process we can uh, bring up uh, the records in MDM hub uh, very easily uh, through the IDD UI uh, we can also import the record from the various source system and which are residing in the spreadsheet or excel sheets. So what are the prerequisites to configure bulk data import? Uh, first is like we need to have an IDD application which is uh, deployed and is which status is valid. Second we need to create an import profile. Third we need to have a data import uh, enabled in the MDM hub. Fourth we need to import the profile created into the IDD application and then we can import the data which is residing in the excel sheets so let's see uh, what is import profile so import profile is uh, a sample import profile is like this it's a, a data import template config so inside a data import template config we configure a various import profiles for based on the various subject area so for a subject area we can have various profiles like uh, in, my, in my example I have a person subject area and organization subject area where I have a two profiles based on that in a person subject area I have a child subject area telephone number and the grandchild is a phone use similarly in organization I have only uh, organization subject area so based on this particular uh, configuration uh, we will import the record from the excel sheet into the base object so uh, if we let's see what are the meaning of this particular properties indexes means like uh, based on the indexes uh, it will help us to identify from which particular column in the excel sheet the value is going to come in the base object column so for example if my index is 1 and uh, index is 1 then it means like uh, from uh, column 1 the value for that particular column is going to come so if it is skipped nulls it means like if it is true then uh, if there is a not null value for that particular column in the database it will it will be not it will not get overridden by the by the column values if null if a null value is being provided from the excel sheet if it is false it means like uh, null will be overriding the not null value in the database type is specifies what is the data type for this particular column uh, in the database so th this is pretty much about uh, the data template config and uh, we also specify from which source system actually this particular record or uh, inf data is going to be imported into the base object now the next is to imp uh, enable data import to enable data import uh, we have to go to infra mdm hub server resources cmx server dot property file 
in this we have to make an entry of like this cmx dot idd data import enabled idd vote enabled equal to true so once we have done this save this file and then run a post install once it is done uh, our next step is to enable data import to enable data import uh, we know this uh, i already done this so next is step is to import template to import template uh, uh, we have to go to the IDD application we have to select our application go to the import select import to existing IDD application data import template this option will only come once you have enabled um, once you have this property in your cmx server dot property file so you can browse your uh, file so just select it and then click on import okay so our uh, templates is imported and uh, we have no errors so make sure if you have any error please resolve it before progressing further so uh, I'm clicking OK now let's uh, launch the application so now go to the data tab so this particular option in only come once uh, you have uh, imported the once we have the da data Im template data import template uh, enabled in your MDM hub so here you will see two particular options person and organization these uh, two options will come based on what profile you have on which uh, particular subject area I have a profile created on person and organization so that's why I am seeing uh, two particular uh, options to import the records so let's select the person So similar uh, here the profile will get selected and uh, then we can browse the um, our CSV file and then we can import it. So similarly let's see for the organization. So we see the import profile for SA organization which was created in the uh, data template config it is got selected and uh, it's asking to select the CSV file or the uh, the data source file, the data file from where the record will get imported. So I'm selecting this organization record dot xlsx. This got uploaded. Click on next. So it m it shows me what are the records are there. So let me bring up the Excel sheet here. So these are the records display name dunce number and pk source object i am providing this is on the basis based on this like i am i have dunce number the display number dunce and pk source object which is being uh, passed here so i am being uh, i am passing the values for those here so we, we selected that particular excel sheet here so sheet one is the one that i have to select after that first line is header yes so i make it in the value is starting from line number two we can show like what value will be imported these are the values which will get imported click on next and then once you start it uh, you cannot uh, interrupt if you interrupt then all the changes will get rolled back so let's uh, start the process so I see that three new records got created we can see we can download those three records So. Okay. 
okay so so these are the records that got uh, inserted into the base object row id objects are 9 31 32 33 and this shows the line number from which it got uh, imported in all excel so 234 similarly it will show like this row id object is from which particular line number so once it is done uh, if there is some rejected records then it will come here we can also see the same now going to finish so once it is finished now we can search for those records and see whether they have came into the base object or not so let's get the row id object 931 1931 okay so the, here is my record let's open it okay so this is how we, we will import the record into the MDM base object from some excel sheet or spreadsheet so what are the key points? The key points is to like make sure the data import is enabled from the hub and then uh, you have created a profile properly and uh, you have mentioned the column names in the profile created properly like system columns uh, I mean based on the columns uh, as defined uh, in the hub and also the indexing in the profile created should be proper you can also create like uh, the main one of the main point is like the profiles can be created as many profiles can be created for a subject area and uh, if you have defined a PK source object in your profile then you have to define a source system also otherwise while importing the profile you will get error so these are the some key points that need to be remembered uh, please provide your feedback if you have uh, uh, watched this video thank you thanks a lot for time